Greetings hobbyists, this is Arsans and Vool, and we're having another look at some of the new features in Blender 4. So Blender 4 has added a couple features that are really, well, let's put it this way, quite a long time coming. And they've done them pretty nicely actually, I'm quite impressed with what they've done. So let's go through this and talk about it, and then compare it to an alternative, because in some ways what Blender's done is better, and in some ways the free alternative is better. I've got a feeling I'm going to end up using a mix of both. So the first thing that we can do is that if I press, let's say, G and then Y to move it in the Y axis, I can also now press Alt and hold it down, and that allows you to then do all the normal things that you could do. So, for example, I can move around and still be moving this, so I could check out, well, let's say, is there going to be the right place? Okay, maybe it's not, somewhere like there, and so on. So you can press down Alt and either middle mouse button to orbit round, you could hold down Shift to then pan round and you can still zoom in as well. Now one limit with this that I think is worth mentioning is if you go to edit preferences and your navigation tools I normally have my orbit and panning set with perspective and depth on because that solves the problem which you sometimes get if you're zooming into a particular point you sort of get stuck at a certain distance whereas this allows you to scroll in all the way you want to go but with this movement so G alt Let's say I wanted to scroll into that far object, I still sort of get stuck at the objects that I'm trying to move around, so you can't really pan in all the way to that far object. So there is a slight limit to this, so just something to be aware of. So that's using the Alt key. Really nice addition, especially if you want to see different places that you're trying to move to. Now this in combination with the next bit, which is called Snap Base, is really really important and I'm really glad they put this in at the same time. So what snap base does, if I press G to move this object and then I hit B, my object returns to where it was and I now get a series of icons telling me where I'm selecting. Circle is for a face, you get a square for a vertex, so for example there, you get this sort of two arrows pointing together for any edge and then you get a triangle for the center of an edge. Now this does work off of what you've got set here. So for example, if I've only got vertex and I press G and then B, you'll notice I can only snap to a vertex. So I find it really useful to have most of these on. And you can do that by holding down shift to select multiple ones of these. And again, they'll all have different symbols. So what this allows you to do is G, B, let's say I want that corner, and then it's going to snap to these other potential positions on my other objects. So for example, I could perfectly bring it to that corner. A really helpful tool and something that, as I said, quite a long time coming. Now, there are some limits to this. The one thing that I think is really missing from here is center of face. I would say that is a really, really big omission from these selections. I love that they've added edge center, but this just feels like we're missing something out here. Now, if you've got a free add-on called Quick Snap, you can get that from Gumroad. It is literally free. You just need to download it and install it. There's a link in the description. If you press Control, Shift, and V, what you have is then a similar option where if you press one, you're snapping to vertices. If you press two, you're snapping to the edges at the halfway point. And if you press three, you're snapping to the center of faces. And what's cool about this is say I press one to do that vertex. I now get that option again for what I'm snapping to, so I could then go to three and snap that to the center of that face. Now I do slightly, if I do that again, prefer the layout of this. I just think it's really nice. It also allows you to select things that you can't see, so that's the back vertex there. There's just something nice about that, and also it gives you this really nice UI where you've got an indication of where that edge goes, so you can see where you're going to in the yellow. I really like this. Now, one thing I just suddenly realized I hadn't thought about is if I press Alt, no, you can't. So because this is not normal movement, as far as Blender's aware of it, you can't use this in combination with that Alt key that you can normally do when pressing G and moving around. And you can do that with Snap Base on, so I can select there and then Alt and then move around. So that's something to just be aware of. Oh, one thing that's happening here, if you notice, it looks like it's trying to snap to axes. I can middle mouse button click to get off of that. Well, in fact, actually, that's a real annoyance, it wouldn't let me. So if I do this again, if I press Alt and then middle mouse button, the danger is that if you let go of the Alt first, 
you then end up with this trying to snap to edges. So make sure if you're moving using this Alt option, you press Alt, middle mouse button, finger off, middle mouse button, then finger off Alt. Otherwise, it does get a little bit annoying. If you are ever stuck snapping to an axis, so for example, let's say the Z axis there, if you just press C, that will clear that. So you can get out of that fairly easily, but just something to be aware of. So a really nice couple of additions to standard Blender, maybe missing a couple of little tricks, but hopefully they'll come in time. As always, if you found this video useful, please do hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and if you'd like to support the channel further, we do have a Patreon page, where for a few dollars a month, you get access to these videos ahead of time, ad-free, access to the exclusive Discord channel, and you're also helping to keep this content free for the general community, which I'm sure is appreciated not just by me, but everyone out there. Have a great day, guys.